forty percent. You must always treat saving as an expense. Okay, that means you must always if let's say you want to save ten percent, you must always treat this ten percent as an expense. That means you will always put this fixed amount of money into a saving vessel. Yeah, so a saving vessel can be banks, but actually if you put your money in the bank, I do not know about uh, Philippines uh, bank interest rate. Yeah, but much it's higher in Singapore, than Singapore. Huh? Much higher than yeah, Singapore. Yeah, but it all depends on how much is the inflation. So if let's say the inflation is 10% and then the bank is giving you 7%, are you making money by saving in the bank? You're not. You're actually losing money. So what can you do? Find out from me. Ayah, like that one, ah. You charge consultant fee, you know. <laughs> She's trying to make money, oh. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just stating the fact because uh, when I see a client or I see a referral, <coughs> that is what I will tell them because it's real. Losing money by saving your money in the bank is real, especially during the uh, okay. pandemic. Yeah. Thank you, So Ching. Let's say you make one million peso a year, a lot of money, right? And you spend one million, how much you have left? Zero. If you make hundred thousand peso a year, and you save ten percent, that is how much? Ten thousand peso. How much money you have next year, saved up? Ten thousand. The one who earns one million has nothing at the end of the year, right? The one who earns ten percent of what he earns, what what the one million peso, uh, flashy flashy guy who buys a Ferrari and uh, so on, uh, at the end he has nothing. But the one who's hundred thousand like Sok Ching, at the end she saved how much? Forty percent. Oh, that's a lot of money, huh? How many of you dare to do that in Philippines? Who wants to start this this uh, method? Only one, two, three, four, five, six. The rest of you still want to spend your money. <laughs> so, very important. It's not what you earn, it's what you save that will build build your assets. Okay. Number three, think global, act local. What is a uh, what is a uh, flywheel used for? Flywheel. What is it used for? You know when you mold the uh, mold the uh, clay 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 pot, huh? You have a big stone, and you move it, move it, move it. That's called a flywheel. What is it used for? What is it used for? It's used for storing of energy that you already used up. The energy transfer to the flywheel. <clears throat> so as you push, as you push, as you push, as you push, does it go faster? But when it's going well, do you need a lot of energy? No, it's very easy to keep the momentum. There is a flywheel, the flywheel concept. Think global, act local. You may have a big dream. One million is not enough. The one, you, yes, property. Okay, <clears throat> not enough, okay? So, but you start small. How would you start? Stand up. How would you start that I have confidence to invest one million in you? How would you start that I have confidence to invest one million? Now I have no confidence to invest one million in you. Because you 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 said you didn't say that one million is not enough. I already know you cannot do it. So first of all, maybe I would show to you the connections I have in um, uh, making the building, the engineers and the but other. But I already say, oh, 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 I say one million is not enough. Ah, uh, one million is not enough. Uh, so that's why I write off your, I write <laughs> off your proposal. 
Right. Can you find a property that's one million? No. No. So I write off your. <laughs> Understand? Yes. So how now? My question is: How can you prove to me? Uh, I'm, I should be reinvesting one million in you. Um, this one, this one, this one. Yeah. So um, instead of owning a land, because you cannot buy land with one million, mm. so you would invest in me with um, probably starting to rent out from the cheapest building that there is. Still more than one million. Well, 20,000 is enough to rent out. Yeah, but your capital. I'm talking about capital, right? Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Math not good. I will no. hire accountants. No, no, no. <laughs> That's why you're not equipped. <laughs> Understand? So, as a seasoned businessman who was looking for investment, I would say the project will not will fail, even though it's quite interesting. Because we know for sure one million is not enough. So the project proposal is wrong. Okay. What about the chili oil? One million enough? Yeah, enough. And she has experience. More than enough and she has experience. Correct? She has done it before. So my, my risk is lower with her than with you. And the one, the cow, huh? Uh, no, cannot. Only one chance. <laughs> okay. Luck go, flies away. Okay, just. All right. Start small. Here, huh? You must have experience first. Start small. 10 minutes, uh, okay. Start small, persist with your vision. Then think of the flywheel concept. You look at this chart, Nike, Nike. Nike, huh? whenever you see Nike, you remember this. Huh? What does it mean? Where is the five years? At the bottom, at the worst time. If you persist, you know your idea is work, it makes sense, and you persist and persist, one year, two years, three years, four years, and it keeps going down. Fifth year is the hardest to go through. And you manage to persist, hardworking, put it through. And then after that, how many left? Two left. So you will fly. That is flywheel concept. Nike. Remember the Nike symbol, huh? V stands for virtuous character. No money, no talk. Do you get that in the Philippines? In Singapore, a lot. They say you have money or not? No money, don't talk. So what is your capital? I have 10 minutes. Write that down. One is your virtuous character. For business, what are the three virtuous character you must have? Honesty, trustworthy, and hardworking. These are three important when you have no money. People can see you are hardworking, you are trustworthy, and you are, hard, and you are honest. They will help you. Okay? Second, relationship. Filipino is very good at this. Sometimes uh, I come to Philippines, left and right, people ask for money. Because I'm your friend. Okay. So, relationship. Friends, families, relatives, suppliers, your clients can help you. Number three, knowledge. Like she, among the three, she has knowledge of chili oil. So, at least got chance. Past knowledge and experience gain is very important. That is your asset, your capital. Creativity. Always looking for ways to do things better. To start a business, 
comfortably. Besides being the cheapest, being the best, you just need 5% better than your competitor. That's all. 5%. Not, not 100% better. Just 5%. And you will succeed. Hmm? Blessings. What was that? Ecclesiastes 2.26 For God gave us to those who are good in His sight wisdom, knowledge and joy and also resources from the sinner, the profits from the, the money from the sinners. Okay. With Ren Suan Fu Lu Tian Suan Okay. Timing. Being at the right place at the right time. And the last one, all of you have this. Youthfulness. Youthfulness, except us white hair. All the rest of you have this. Use, up, use your youthfulness to make mistakes. To try. If you don't make mistakes, I know you, don't, you didn't try. If you did not fail, I know you did not try. Agree? So, when you are young, you are allowed to make mistakes and fail. Then you can pick it up again. But if you are Cecilia's age, my age, we calculate very carefully. Because we don't have, we don't have, a, what was that? We don't have what? You see there? The time to fail. Hmm? So, use your youthfulness. Naiveness and energy. Nike logo. Nike logo. So, so good. Just do it. Don't overthink. You fail, never mind. You, you try again, try again. You, your first business is not your last business. Your first business is not your last business. What is my first business, you think? Cassettes. How many of you is an ancient word? Cassette. Cassette. How many of you know what is it? Now you use uh, now you use a uh, thumb drive, huh? That time you use cassette for your music. Oh, before you all were born. That was my first business. Do you think I failed in that business? Cassette business, despite of being very smart, very hardworking, I still fail. I fell to a con man, con artist. Yeah. You still fail. So you pick up after you fail. Hmm? Energy, E, energy to succeed. Where is the place to channel your energy? Your your, your phone, right? You channel your energy to your phone, right? Keep charging it. Is that where the energy should go? If you are interested to do business. Three circles. Remember these three circles. Very important. I only learned these three circles when I already retired. If you, I had known these three circles, it would make my life much easier to succeed. Number one, heart. What is your, what you are deepest, deeply passionate about? When you think of this idea, chili oil, kabok, 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 kabok. When you think of cow, mm. nothing yet, <laughs> no reaction. So what makes you excited about a potential? Okay? The blue one, dollar sign. What drives your economy engine? Can what you do make you enough money or make you a lot of money? Basically, it must help you to survive. So, your passion, whether you will be profitable to sustain you. The third one, the yellow one, what can you be best in the world at? Rosanna, publish the music book. Is she good at music? Come on Monday to find out whether she is good in the, in the music. Okay. Can you be the best in the world? 
If not the word, kavite. If not kavite, AUP. Let's say you have, all of you should try and sell things in AUP. How many students are there? 4,000 4, plus students. Capture audience. They must come to school every week. Correct? 4,000. So what can you sub service this 4,000? Any idea? Any of you try to service 4,000 students? Or even in your business, in your business faculty? Ah, again. Wow, this lady, huh? Long Fei, where are you? <laughs> okay, what? What have you done to service AUP students? The chili place business was here in AUP not too long ago. I think it was like two years ago. Uh, my friend, she was in psychology department. So I would make the products back at home, sell it to her in a wholesale price, and then she will sell it to AUPNs. And currently, we are talking about making fish tofu. So fish tofu... I'm a vegetarian. Yes. No, fish tofu that is for vegetarians. It just tastes like fish, but it's fish tofu. Vegetarian. Good. All right. So, start thinking. You know, when you go to work, uh, you, are, you apply for work, what is the first thing they ask you? Do you have experience? Am I correct? And none of you have experience. How many of you have experience after you graduate? Right after you graduate. If you don't use the four years you are in university to try to gain experience, by the time you go out into the market field, try to find work, you are competing with those who have experience already. Not just the degree. And AUP degree is very on top of the scale or not. AUP business degree, is it on top? Rank number one. If they look at all oh, your, your graduation, you study in Philippine University. Chances? Or oh, you study in AUP, which one easier? To get a work. Philippine University or AUP degree? You have to think. How many of you think if you have a Philippine University PU huh, degree, it's easy to get work, or AUP business degree, easy to get work? Who thinks PU easier to get work? Who thinks AUP easier to get work? The rest of you don't know. Blur, blur. Even I know. PU. If, if I'm looking for someone in business, just graduated, I look at, oh, he's from, she's from top student in a PU versus a top student in AUP. Who do you think I will hire? Huh? Oh, it's called University of Philippines. UP, not PU. <laughs> All right. So, be the best in the world. If not, at least on campus to start with. If not on campus, at least business faculties to start with. Be the best. Entrepreneur. So that ends almost, I think. Drive. D stands for? Loud, loud, loud. D stands for? R stands for? I stand for? V stand for? E stand for? And if you are young? Oh, only two. Only one person, remember. If you are young, don't think too much. Business is not that difficult. You don't have to take four years to go and learn how to do business. How many days you need to 
learn how to do business? Huh? Two, how many days? Only four hours here. <laughs> the four years, do you learn as much as you learn in four hours? Yeah? Practical. Okay. Is it possible to start a business without capital? How many of you say yes? Raise your hand. Hi, hi. Oh, there are still some not sure. Okay. They all did. These are all proven. Do you, do you dare to start a business even when you have no capital? Which picture are you? <laughs> oh, me? Me? Who, me? You mean me? Really? So, I hope you will partner with God versus self-made men. Okay? If you partner with God, you are God, good in God's sight, God will give you wisdom, knowledge, and joy of how to make money. But if you want to do your own things, God says, okay, go ahead. You will have hard life. You will make money. You will keep it up, but you cannot spend it. Which one do you want? Happy, happy, or not so happy? They are both happy, let me tell you. Okay, with that, thank you very much. I hope you have learned something. I hope you will succeed with God's blessing. Well, thank you so much, Sir David Tan, for that very insightful uh, discussion that we've had this afternoon. And now we will be giving our certificate of appreciation to our guest speakers this afternoon and would like to call on Dr. Dwalhati Sausa, the Dean of the College of Business, to join me up here on stage to give the certificates. Oh, I didn't know the Dean is here. Otherwise... <laughs> All right, so I'll be giving first the certificate for our first get guest speaker. This is certificate of appreciation is given to Yip Kokto for serving as a resource speaker on the topic, Man Designed for Hope and Optimism at the Adventist University of the Philippines on August 29, 2024. Signed by Dr. Lolhati P. Sausa, Dean of the College of Business, and Dr. Arsadi Rosario, President of the AUP. Sir? And also would like to give this certificate of appreciation to Sir David Jackson Tan for serving as a resource speaker on the topic, How to Start a Business Without Money, held at the Adventist University of the Philippines on August 29, 2024, signed by Dr. Lalhati Sausa, Dean of the College of Business, and Dr. Arsadi Rosario, President of AUP. Study hard, sir so says. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, sir. Have you learned a lot today? Yes. yes, if you did, can you show that by your clap of your hands? There you go. That's loud. That's loud, sir. It means that they did learn a lot this afternoon. So thank you, everyone, for joining us. Please stand for our closing prayer. Please don't leave after the prayer. We'll be having a group photo opportunity here up on stage. Let's pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, we humble ourselves, Lord, before you to ask for the Holy Spirit to teach us how to pray. At this very moment, Father, we'd like to thank you for your blessing. We thank you for your goodness, for allowing our guest speakers, our guests, to be here with us this afternoon. We thank you, Lord, for the experiences they've had and for allowing them to share it especially to our students. May everything that they have learned tonight, to, uh, this afternoon, magnify your goodness and your love. 
um, in their lives and that they may be able to shine on to other people as well. We ask, Father, that you be with us as we do our remaining activities for the day, protect us from any possible harms and dangers, and forgive us from all our sins. For this all we pray in the loving name of Jesus. Amen. All right. So, yeah, I think it's better, although there's a lot of us here, it's better if we come up here on stage for a quick photo op. So, let's go up here. Mabilisan lang. Let's go, let's go. Yes. Or, sige, right there na lang. I think we're a lot, we're a lot. By your seats na lang. Just stay by your seats. And, di pa ka manggaling. So can you stay here at the middle? Ma'am Lou, can we ask you to be here as well in front? We're requesting also the faculty members to please um, sit here in front. Po. Uh, the faculty members who are here, please come sit by the... All right, ready? Keep smiling, we have quite a lot of cameras up here. So pretty gentle, we can transfer to the other side. Just for balance. Ready, one, two, smile. One, two, smile. Yes. All right, that's great. One last, I'll just take a video. Can you all say business in three, two, and one, go. There you go. Thank you, everyone, and enjoy the rest of your day.